Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be my most worn items for December. I'm not sure whether this is going up before or after Christmas, so I am wearing a Christmas jumper because if you can't now, then when can you? And obviously you already know that I'm in South Africa at the moment and this is my bedroom in London, so you know that I'm not in South Africa right now, but I'm actually filming this about three or four days before leaving and everything that I'm showing you is going in my suitcase and I don't tend to pack a huge suitcase when I leave. So basically everything in this is stuff that I know I'm gonna be wearing a lot of, so it is gonna be very apt for my most worn items of December, if that makes sense. Uh, this is gonna be a slightly different style, so I am gonna be trying the pieces on in the video for you because I've noticed in the comments recently there's been a few people asking why I don't do it. But I'm just going to start because there is so much in this pile and I know this is going to be a lengthy video. So the first thing is actually something that I got really recently and it's something that I have literally not taken off. I wear this if I go to the shop, I wear it instead of a jacket if it's not too cold, I wear it in bed, I wear it just lounging around the house, like I literally wear this non-stop. So I've actually been looking for a jumper for absolutely ages that is kind of a more cropped style so it doesn't come really long because as much as I love that style of jumper I just wanted something that was shorter and this is perfect i am so obsessed with this i can't even tell you it is literally like a dream cardigan and it's just really oversized it's got the kind of oatmeal coloring really love it it's just the coziest thing ever and i don't think this costs more than 30 pounds i'll leave everything linked as always but i honestly think this is really inexpensive and i think they had a few other colors as well so absolutely obsessed with that one then the next thing we have is something that i never really thought i would love but now i've got it i am obsessed and it's just these Gola trainers, which are, I believe, the Harrier, or they might be the Bullet, I can't remember, I'll leave them down below. But I really wanted these in a kind of mustard colour, and they didn't have my size, so I went for the orange, and I'm obsessed with them. I literally love these so much. They're a really nice kind of burnt orange, and I think the more that I wear them, the more that they're going to get that kind of retro look, and they're just going to look even nicer, because at the moment, they are very, very, very bright but I love them so much and I get so many compliments kind of from friends and stuff when I wear them so definitely one worth having and I think they're only like £60 which is really affordable for trainers and you know I wear my coasters to death you've seen them in so many videos so you know these are going to be winners I also kind of want them to do a kind of deep green version because I feel like that would be adorable but they didn't have one on the website when I looked but these are amazing and I wear them all the time. I tend to wear them with like jeans and jumpers or I've actually worn them with smart trousers and a t-shirt and like a chunky cardigan. Just basically any way that I can fit them into my style, I do. Um, if you kind of look on Pinterest and stuff, there's so many outfit inspirations for trainers and you can often fit like coloured trainers into those looks. I'm basically like a walking advert for Pinterest at the moment. I use it to death. Like I literally use it so often. Then we have my other Christmas jumper. So I actually bought two Christmas jumpers, both men's mediums, because Adrian also wanted a Christmas jumper. And the women's ones just aren't that great. They're all kind of sequined or they've got like a little slogan on them or they've just got something about Prosecco or gin or they've got like a bauble or something like very feminine and the fit is always very feminine. So I'm very much a novelty jumper wearer. I absolutely love jumpers like this where they've got snowmen on and you can't really see the rest of it but it's got like ho 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 and little like yeah, it's basically the cutest Christmas jumper that is the tackiest thing ever, but Asda has a really great selection. So this one was £14 and this one is also £14 and they're quite good quality. So they're not really thick, but they're not really thin. So I know that me and Adrian are going to be wearing these a lot. We love kind of cheesy Christmas jumpers. We love like having a laugh and just being really stupid with each other. But this one is actually the one that I'm giving him because this isn't my favourite one. This one is my favourite one. So this is the Christmas jumper. I've already worn it about six times and I've only had it a couple of days. Like I just wear it every day because it's just hilarious. And it just says season's feastings on it. And it's got kind of little Christmas puddings. Then you've got the little sprout. And then at the bottom, this is the part I actually love. This is why I bought it. It's got these little pigs in blankets with little shocked expressions and then like little drumsticks. And I just think it's so funny. And I've not really seen one like this before. And you've obviously seen from the fact that I'm wearing this one. You can kind of see it in the mirror more so. But I love this kind of like retro novelty print where it's not just one slogan on the front it's kind of like an all over jazzy thing and 14 pounds as the jumpers are so good because realistically you don't wear them that often like you wear them for a month and then they get banished to the cupboard for a year and then you bring them back out again so i think these are definitely going to last us a couple of years and i know that when we get to south africa we're going to be wearing them constantly because that's just the kind of person i am i am a christmas fairy and proud <laughs> Then we have a pair of jeans which have been featured quite a few times. I got these in the summer, I wear them all the time, they're really easy. I'm still needing to go back and get the black pair. I'm thinking I might actually order them online because these are just the comfiest things 
ever so I might actually order them now to get next day delivery to be honest but it's just these blue denim jeans which are from weekday these are the way jeans and I think I don't know what colour I specifically got oh here we go I got the swish blue because I know that I got asked that before these are swish blue and these are the way denim they're really true to size they're kind of like a mum fit so they come high waisted and then they're like a skinny leg but they just fit really really nicely on and then I just turn up the bottoms because I'm a shorty and these just remind me of something my mum used to wear in the 90s and I absolutely love them I just think they're such an easy style and if you're like me and you can't wear things like mum jeans and like boyfriend fit jeans these are like a great alternative because they kind of look like mum jeans but they're kind of better fitting because I'm very much like a straight up and down I'm sure like I don't have enough shape to pull off like mum jeans like someone like Kendall Jenner would do so they're great and they just go with blooming everything like they go with jumpers with boots with t-shirts with camis with flip-flops anything you could wear them with they go with and I just I'm obsessed with them then we have the third item from Brandy Melville which wasn't in last month's video because I didn't really wear it that much but I've worn it quite a few times in England surprisingly because it's a t-shirt um, but it just goes really well with like a leather jacket, chunky scarf, um, a bobble hat, that kind of thing. Basically when it's not absolutely arctic temperatures it's really cute and it's just this little yellow t-shirt which is like I said a kind of mustardy colour. Brandy Melville fits amazing and I'm definitely obsessed with it. I'm also kind of thinking of going back and getting a few more pieces because they just have that kind of all American style that I feel like fits me really well and it kind of suits me quite well. So definitely going to be going back and getting a few more t-shirts like this because this one is such a winner and I just love easy t-shirts. They're kind of the best thing to have because they're just plain and simple and they go with everything and I can just wear that all the time and it's the first yellow t-shirt I've found that doesn't make my hair look funny. Like I don't know how to explain it to you but like if I wear it I don't like tops where my hair looks more yellow than the yellow. Um, but this one actually just looks fine. My hair looks a bit purple right now, but we're not going to judge. It's because of the fact that I just put a stupid amount of purple shampoo in it because I just wanted to make myself look blonder. No shame. <laughs> then we have an ASOS dress, which actually needs to go in the wash because it's a little bit dirty. I did wear it yesterday. But it's just this really simple kind of midi style black dress, which I am in love with it is amazing I just think this is the greatest thing ever it's got these kind of three-quarter sleeves so this comes almost to my elbow as you can see and it's just a really simple dress it goes with trainers it goes with boots you can wear it with a chunky scarf you can wear it with a leather jacket you can wear it with a jumper over the top cardigan pretty much any style and I've actually had this since summer and not really pulled it out that much because I kind of completely lost it in the move to be honest and I recently found it again and I've just found it really easy to wear and I love it especially because I can put thermals underneath and you can't see the thermals but I'm then really warm so that's just the dress really love it I can't wait to get it back to South Africa actually because I think it will look really cute with just like my trainers and stuff um that's kind of how I'm thinking to wear it because I'm packing about four pairs of trainers and it's just an easy chuck on dress to be honest. It's just easy. Easy is the word I'm going to use for it because it's easy. Then there's something that you saw in last month's video and it is this Brandy Melville sweatshirt which just says Los Angeles on the front and it's kind of like a nice navy blue oversized very typical vintage easy retro style 80s kind of vibe jumper. I love this kind of thing, I think these are the snuggliest jumpers, they just look really cool, they're the kind of thing you find in shops like Urban Outfitters I guess, and this was only £30, where the Urban Outfitters ones are about £70, so definitely worth having a look in Brandy Melville, but I wear this so often, I just wear it with like jeans and stuff, or with skirts, or just kind of however I feel fit, um, I actually wore this on the plane home with some leggings and some trainers because it was just the cosiest thing that I could think to put on that wasn't like a big chunky jumper because I think sometimes when you wear like knitwear on a plane you're too hot but then as soon as you've been on the flight for a while you get too cold whereas with this because it's a sweatshirt I was just like the perfect temperature the whole time which is really nice. Then we have a skirt which is desperately needing the wash because I actually wore this a lot last time I was in South Africa. I've just been sorting my case out and found it again and it's got soot on from the fire which you can kind of see all over the back of it. Um, so I need to wash that because I didn't realise it had been also covered in soot. Um, yeah. So this is actually a pull and bear skirt which I got through ASOS and it is the best fitting denim skirt I have ever had. This is a size small which is the smallest that they had online. Um, so it says Euro size 6, Mexican 26. I don't know why Mexican is the alternative size. But this is the skirt. It's just a really easy kind of off-white colouring. Really, really lightweight. It's kind of like a really 
what's the word like lightweight denim I guess you could say like it's just very movable which I love because sometimes with denim it's not very movable and it almost feels a bit stiff but I love the little rips on it I think it's just a really cute skirt for just wearing every day like I said before I wear so many plain t-shirts and like big jumpers and stuff that this is kind of the perfect thing to put it with because this just goes with all kinds of colors and I love just wearing this with like a white t-shirt or a white jumper for days when maybe it's a bit colder then we have something which hasn't been worn yet because obviously in England I've had no need for it but it is going to be coming with me and it is the only swimwear I'm taking bar one bikini so it's going to be getting a lot of use and I just thought this was kind of hilarious because going to South Africa it's obviously going to be warm, we're going to be sat by the pool, we're going to be wearing swimwear and to be completely honest I wanted something festive and not something covered in tropical print so I picked up this from Boohoo which is just a black swimsuit with gold stars all over it and I don't think you could find a more festive swimsuit without literally writing Santa across the chest but it's just a really low back which I love I think that's a great style for a swimsuit especially if you're tanning and stuff because you kind of want maximum out without having a belly out I guess um, then the front is kind of like a deep V which as you can see from the cutaway I don't really have huge boobs so it kind of looks quite flattering but I think if you had a bigger boob it would obviously look a bit a bit different but a bit more booby like it is quite booby if you have boobs to make it booby yeah that's the thing um but i really liked it i think it was only about 12 pounds or something really inexpensive and it's great to have all year round like if you're looking for swimwear it's a great thing to have or if you're going for a winter break or a spring break definitely perfect to pick up but i just thought it was really nice and festive next we have something else which is quite summery um i actually picked this up for a potential New Year's outfit because I'm not really a big kind of glitter sequin going out out kind of outfit person like I don't like the Kim K style I don't really feel comfortable wearing loads of sequins and stuff like I like kind of plain minimal understated outfits not saying I don't like it on other people but on me personally I just don't feel that confident when I wear things like that so I picked up this which has ended up being something that I'm definitely taking to South Africa because it will kind of work better there and it's just this really gorgeous little play suit which I can't hold up in the easiest way but it's just got the little cap sleeves that are separate and it's just this really gorgeous bandeau play suit which is navy and it's kind of got the overlay bit which I really like so if you eat too much at Christmas you can't tell and then the back is just kind of open and it's got the zip down the back as well which is really cute and it's this kind of gorgeous crepe fabric which I think is just really flattering and I love this. I think you could also kind of wear it just as a bandeau because you could tuck these little sleeve bits in. Um, this is part of the reason I really liked it as well actually because you can just tuck them in and then you can't even see the sleeves are there which is really cute. So you've basically got two in one. I'm actually starting to love navy and I've always kind of liked it but I've never really found that it suited me and I've never known how to style it but I seem to have quite a bit in here that's navy so I'm guessing I'm knowing how to style it now. <laughs> Okay, we're on the last three things, I promise. So this one has featured in a video on me before, but I don't think I've featured it in like a haul or anything. But it's just this little jumper from Only, which is via um, ASOS. So it's basically like a really oversized kind of wide knit. It's a really hard thing to explain. Like it's literally just super wide. Like can you see what I mean? It's just very wide. And then it's got the little cap sleeve, so it fits really nicely oversized. And this tucked into high-waisted denim is one of my favourite things. And I just love the charcoal colouring. I think this is a really nice grey at the moment and it's definitely preferred to lighter grey in terms of like knitwear and stuff because I own so many light grey jumpers and I don't know why. Like my whole jumper pile in my wardrobe seems to be white, cream or grey. And I don't know why or how that happened, but it did. So yeah, loving this one. I think it's really, really sweet. And it's super lightweight, so it's really easy for me to pack. It's really warm and I just love it. I think it's a really nice kind of slouchy jumper. Then we have a coat, which is from Dorothy Perkins that I'm also obsessed with. However, this one is not coming to South Africa with me. I've just been wearing it a lot for the last two or three weeks. So it's just this kind of aviator style I need to sit further away from the camera. It's just this kind of aviator style jacket which is like a really nice grey woolen material and then you've got the shearling inside and I absolutely love this. I think the light grey is so beautiful on this kind of jacket which I haven't really seen before. I normally see like pinks or blacks or whatever but I really like it. I love all the little details around the neck. It's got like the nice little clasps and stuff. It's really gorgeous fitting and I actually picked up a size 8. As you guys already know I'm a size 6. I've mentioned it a few times now but um... I bought this in an 8, I always do with coats because I find a size 8 coat 
just happens to fit a bit better when it comes to wearing like jumpers and stuff underneath because here in the UK you can't really last a winter without wearing a jumper under a coat so that is the reasoning however this one is super snuggly it's got the shearling all down the inside of the arms as well so I've actually worn this to a gym just with like a vest and leggings underneath and still stayed really snug so but yeah really gorgeous coat I put this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and everyone seemed to also love it and then the very last thing um, is a bag that I have been using a lot recently because for some reason I am just obsessed with mustard colours and I don't really know how or why this happened but they just seem to be the colours that I'm going for a lot recently like the burnt oranges and the mustard tones and the navies and I think I'm just kind of starting to accept that black and white aren't the only colours in my life but either way it's just this suede bag which is from next and I really love this it's like a bucket bag style I do kind of wish it had more structure or it had like a little um you know like the inner bags because this doesn't actually have an inner bag but really really gorgeous I love this I think it's really cute and the color is just perfect it just fits everything in my wardrobe it goes really well with like grays and blacks and that kind of thing so absolutely loving this one but that is everything that I got. I have just realised how long I've been talking for and how much stuff I have. But that is pretty much what I am packing for South Africa minus the coat. So you're going to be seeing these things a lot in like vlogs and stuff. Because I'm not sure if I'm vlogging yet. If I have you'll already know about it. If I haven't then I'm sorry. But when we're there we tend to just have family time. Because we don't really see Adrian's family that much. And we just want to spend time with them because we love them so yeah but that's all for now guys i hope you had an amazing christmas and i hope you're looking forward to new year and i'll see you in my next video bye guys